All right, everybody, what's up? It's time for a Monday conversation. Um, for today's Monday conversation, I want to talk about diets because I think it's like a big topic that there's a lot of information out there, but there's also a lot of uh, wrong information and um, just a lot of misinformation. You know, a lot of people tell you, oh, if you don't eat fruits, vegetables, chicken, and rice, you'll never lose weight. You won't. That's all bullshit. That plain and simple, that's all bullshit. Now I'm gonna tell you guys what I did, and this is just what I did, what worked for me. Everybody's body's kind of different, so you kind of have to test things out and see how it works. For example, um, what I did over the summer here, because diet wasn't as on point, workout wasn't as on point, was in an effort to keep waistline where I kind of wanted it and everything. I would do a 12-hour fast. And then I would do a, a protein shake, and then an hour or two later I would start eating, and so I would basically have like 10 hours to eat, um, and that didn't work for me. Um, what ended up happening was I would be overly hungry when I started eating, and I would overeat every single meal. And that's pretty much part of the diet thing that's, that's the hard part to really do, but it's also the easy part to do is like, don't overeat which again sounds easy but then you start to kind of think about it and you go holy crap like I overeat all the time so when I started um, about five years ago really like okay I'm gonna get lean I'm gonna get ripped I wanna you know have a six-pack whatever uh, this was the main part of my diet chicken and blue box macaroni and cheese and I know some of you are sitting at home and you're laughing and you're going, ha, 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 like, no way. I ate that three times a day, uh, six days a week, most of the time. And I was V-cut, abs pointed down. I don't have any of the pictures left. Uh, I wish I did. Um, to show you guys that, like, you can do it on that. My diet back then would consist of breakfast was two sausage patties with two pieces of wheat toast and peanut butter um, and then uh, a glass of milk in the morning and then I would have a protein shake about 11 and then about 1.30, 2 o'clock I would have uh, about six ounces of chicken, half cup of macaroni and cheese. I'd then do pre-workout which is usually C4. I would go to the gym Immediately following the gym, I come home, another six ounces of chicken, half cup of macaroni and cheese, and then one more before the night was over. And that was my diet pretty much six days a week. Sometimes I would substitute, I would have um, uh, ground beef cooked with taco seasoning. I'd do eight ounces of that with a half cup of shredded cheese with it. Um, but that was it. That was, that was my diet for like about six months. Um, and then obviously, you know, there was workouts in there too, which helped. But uh, that's the thing with diet is you don't necessarily have to just eat super clean. If you just lower the amount for your normal average person and, and eat a relatively, I guess you'd say small amount, um, but multiple times in the day, it will work. And, and people don't seem to understand that, you know. Um, outside of doing that... Uh, the seventh day would be a cheat day for me. I would eat, you know, maybe Taco Bell. Um, you know, I might have cake, ice cream, who knows, you know, whatever. Um, but I wouldn't hold myself really back that day. But six out of the seven days, so majority of the days, I would I would eat, you know, relatively clean and, and eat those lean meals. And then the seventh day would be a cheat day for me. But because I was doing it so much throughout the week, you know, six out of seven days is a lot. It worked. It really, really worked. Um, now, granted, back then too, I was bar starring, so I was drinking a lot. Um, you know, so that didn't seem to affect me as much. Uh, but I know some people it does. Um, but again, I was putting in a lot of work at the gym too. You know, which is again part of it. You're not gonna just eat lean or just go to the gym. And be able to be ripped or anything but you can definitely lose weight 
and like I said for your average person to try to do this crap of you gotta count your macros and you can't have this and you can't have that ever and all the shit like that it just doesn't work so what I'm trying to help anybody out there who might be struggling with diet or not really know what to do just start by limiting the amount you eat okay so for example if you always go to say uh, if you if you always go to McDonald's or whatever say a couple times a week instead of getting a Big Mac meal maybe just get like a double cheeseburger meal or if you normally get like a double cheeseburger meal maybe just get like a regular cheeseburger meal don't get a large maybe get a small once you start to to really do it and limit what like how much you eat it's amazing how little you can eat I, there were times uh, two years ago was when I was probably at my leanest and there were times when I got down to my leanest that I was actually only eating like three ounces of chicken and um, like a quarter cup of broccoli uh, you know I was having like three eggs in the morning a couple protein shakes throughout the day and and that was it basically um, you know and I wasn't ever really that hungry uh, but it just um, you know, I kind of jacked up my, I did a little too much on the exercise front of that, so, um, but yeah, that's, you know, just try to limit the amount, and then once you, you get where you can limit the amount, then try to clean it up, and then once you limit the amount and clean it up, all of a sudden, things start to come together, and if you limit the amount, you'll be amazed at what will happen, uh, just body weight wise at that point, you know, because, 99% of people out there overeat uh, you know I'm guilty of it too especially going through the summer it's really easy you're at barbecues all the time or you grill and you don't have time to make something so you just grab kind of whatever and then when you do there's a whole package of it and so you eat more than you it, it, it turns into a fiasco but you know it, it takes dedication and to be honest the saying abs are made in the kitchen is a hundred percent accurate if you don't clean this up and, and you know limit it at least then your abs will you will never have them period um you would just have to exercise way too much you would have to almost do like a uh, rock workout routine of seven days a week for five hours plus a day whatever to to outwork a an overeating bad diet so um, yeah, so that's my thoughts on diet. Like I said, you don't have to necessarily eat the cleanest, like all greens and all veggies and fruits and that stuff. You can mix in some other stuff, but you have to limit the amount. That's the key. Limit the amount. That's our Monday conversation for today. We'll see everybody tomorrow for a regular vlog.